Before you ride, perform the pre-ride inspection as described in the owner's manual. Read, understand, and follow all of the instructions, warnings, and safety precautions in the owner's manual and on all product labels. Perform a visual inspection of the sled, looking for debris, leaks, and worn components that may impair its operation. Next, remove each front side panel by releasing the rubber strap and turning the two quarter turn latches. Pivot the panels out and lift up to remove. Beginning on the left side, inspect the condition of the drive belt, looking for any looseness, fraying, missing cogs, burns, abrasions, or damage. Next, inspect the injection oil level in the oil tank and add oil as necessary. Move over to the right side of the sled and inspect the brake pads and rotor for any corrosion, nicks, or burrs. Also inspect the coolant level in the overflow bottle. Add coolant as needed. Never remove the pressure cap while the engine is warm or hot. Next, remove the three push rivets securing the console. Remove the transmission fill plug and inspect the fluid level. Add fluid if necessary. Reinstall the fill plug and torque the specification. Once complete, reinstall the three push rivets to secure the console. Continue by reinstalling both side panels by inserting the tabs on the bottom and top. Secure the rubber strap and latch the two quarter turn latches. Next, move to the front suspension and inspect for fastener tightness on the shock assembly, control arms, sway bar, tie rods, and spindle. Then inspect for any leaks and damage on all suspension components. Continue by inspecting the skis for any damage or wear, and replace if needed. Also, lift up the skis and inspect the skags for wear. Always replace any worn skags before riding. Next, safely elevate the snowmobile, per the owner's manual guidelines, to inspect the rear suspension. Begin with the front torque arm limiter strap, looking for any wear or damage, and replace if necessary. Also inspect the rear limiter straps for wear or damage. Replace if needed. Continue by inspecting the rail slides for wear. Replace if worn to the wear limit indicator groove. Next, measure the track tension per the owner's manual guidelines and adjust as necessary. Then inspect the track for proper alignment by looking through the track windows in the rear. Ensure they are evenly spaced apart and adjust as necessary. Continue by inspecting the rear idler wheel bolt and adjusting bolt lock nuts for tightness. Once finished with the rear suspension inspection, safely lower the sled to the ground. Next, ensure smooth operation of the steering system by turning the skis from full left to full right. Then slowly pull the recoil rope out and inspect the handle and rope for any excessive wear. Also check the brake fluid reservoir for proper fluid level. A flashlight can be used to illuminate the reservoir in dark areas. Operate the brake and throttle levers, taking note of any binding or sticking. Also ensure proper operation of the parking brake. Next, start the engine and verify there are no warning lights present. Inspect the headlights, tail light, and brake light for proper operation. Push the engine stop switch to stop the engine and ensure it does not restart. Restart the engine and make sure the engine turns off when the ignition switch is turned off. Finish the inspection by ensuring there is enough fuel for your trip.
For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.